y'all what's up it's snow and this is snow by the day and it is monday and so if you don't know on mondays i'll be dropping money monday videos those are going to be videos talking about all things money and finances i ain't no pro i'm just snow I'm just gonna be giving you my input, what I do, my thoughts and opinions, and the comment section below is for you to give your input and your comments and opinions on the topic of the day. So as y'all can see by my shirt, I work for Amazon this summer. It was my first side hustle. Yes, I do summer school, but I don't consider that really a side hustle because it's still within my career and my profession. It's just like ways that I can make extra money within it. I'm talking about something totally separate. So because the pandemic happened, schools were shut down, and let's not talk about how they're trying to open up schools now, but because the schools were shut down, basically, I couldn't do summer school and I wasn't trying to lose out on my summer money. So I had the opportunity to work with Amazon through a different, like a contractor, basically. And um, everybody was really nervous about me picking up this job because I was not just going to be sorting or scanning, y'all. I, <laughs> let me dust out my shoulders i was a delivery driver yes you heard me delivery honey i was in the vans skirt 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 <laughs> but before we continue talking about packages i do want to tell y'all how i got into it like the process of hiring um what my hours and money was like um what my day consisted of and how it ended so let's hop into that all right so Hiring process was super easy. It might have been a little more easier for me because I did um, work through a family member. Um, my family member owns a contract with Amazon um, with the delivering driving. So my process kind of went faster. I didn't have to do application, but I still had to do like the onboarding process, drug tests, and all those good jazzy things. So that took about a good week. I spent one day online taking a training, which is basically safety driving training, basically. Um, and then then after that, I once all my paperwork was in, I was on the ground, honey. And I had one day where I had um, one person follow me. You don't start in a big um, Amazon van as you usually see um, like on the streets and on the freeways. I started in a little van and I had someone follow me. Also note that you do not start off with a whole load of packages. You start off with something called a, called a nursery run think it's nursery something but it's called like a nursery run so on your paper you have your nursery run and they start building you up from there and they especially did it that way because of the pandemic usually before COVID came um you would run with somebody like you had a partner in your van with you but because you know we're trying to stay healthy and stay six feet apart. We didn't have to do it. We couldn't do it like that. So someone had to follow me for my first day. So on my first day, I was doing so well that um, once I got like halfway through the day, he was like, do you think that you got it on your own? And I was like, yeah, I got it. And so I finished the rest of the day by myself. So for the first week I was on nursery runs. Um, the most that I had on nursery runs were around 60 to 70 packages and just because you have 60 to 70 packages doesn't mean you have 60 or 70 spots like delivery runs it just means you have that many packages so while on the road i do use a phone um an app and it has like the amazon flex app it has all my deliveries on there and it's my GPS system as well. And it has an app on there called eMentor, which tracks my driving behavior. Mm. That thing right there is no joke. That's why they have you take the defensive driving class before you start because they do track everything you do. And I'm talking about if you hit a curb, yeah, it, it got it on your app. If you touch the screen while you're driving, like even if like your GPS messes up, no, you can't touch your phone while driving at all. Even if you're lost or something, you have to stop and park somewhere and then touch the app or you will get dinged. Okay, got it, got it, get it, good. Who y'all is hot? <laughs> These lights. So we talked about like onboarding, which is, well, we talked about the hiring. 
you have to take a class like a training and drug test um, after that you have your training and that's like someone following you and they start you off on a nursery run my nursery run kind of ran for um, the first week was really low during that second week um, it started to pick up like I was fastly moving into having a hundred packages and baby when I tell you when I no longer was on a nursery run I knew it because I had a hundred and ninety two packages that was hard but we'll get into that story at the end of this video stay tuned for that because it's funny now we're gonna move into what your day looks like as a delivery driver your day starts off picking up your van um, usually there's a location where your contractor keeps all their vans um, you meet up you have your team meeting they share any information that you need to know you get your keys you start your car you make sure you have gas you start your apps running um, your e-mentor your Amazon flex you basically get your day started sanitize your van um, and wait for rollout once rollout hits you drive to the Amazon station um, the, there's always um, like attendants out and they directly show you like where they want you to go sometimes you are um, loading up your van outside sometimes you're loading up your van inside of the warehouse it just depends on how they have it organized on that day once you get there and they take you to your spot um, you're um, given like a piece of paper and it has like your route for the day your route number um, and then it has um, your route number is associated with like the cart that you that has your packages so if you're a route rx 431 you go look for the cart that has that route number on it you pull it to your van and you load it up i want to tell you guys listen to me loading up the van loading up the truck van whatever you want to call it is the hardest part of the job especially if it's really hot loading up that van is exhausting and if you don't have like a good breakfast or you're not hydrated, that will zap you before you even get on the road. Take that note if you ever do it. But after that, after you load your van, make sure you drink some water, maybe eat your little something before you get on the road so you can get your energy back. Cut that AC on all the way because you cannot have your car running at any time while you're, um, loading the van so you're basically in a van in the hot heat um, with no air <laughs> no air so yeah once you load your van up you start hit that amazon flex start your delivery route and it just literally takes you to every single place where you drop it off scan ring the doorbell and especially during the pandemic you don't have to wait till for someone to open the door they don't want you to leave it there they'll leave a note and then you either call the customer or you call customer service and if y'all don't figure it out then you just bring that package back to the station but that rarely happens because amazon really wants you to get that package to the customer so you loaded your truck you hit run deliveries the phone takes you to every delivery spot and then you're done now the best part about my experience doing this is the company that i work for it doesn't matter how long it took you to do your deliveries i was hired for 40 hours a week basically i was hired for 40 hours a week and i was guaranteed 40 hours a week regardless if it took me 40 hours to complete my job does that make sense it was bomb so let's talk about pay right so if I was getting 40 hours a week consecutively at the pay of $15 an hour and I didn't have any insurance coming out like at my main job I didn't have any like vision none of that short-term disability none of that it was just the check so the checks were coming out to like 488 a week i believe roughly i don't have the pay stub in front of me but it was like 488 a week first of all i hadn't had a paper check in years i would get my paper check use my bank app sign it take a picture and just send that money directly to directly to my savings account didn't touch it so none of the money that i made this summer through amazon was used 
I haven't used it. I haven't touched it. It's sitting in my savings account. And that is why I love side hustles. It's, it's my first side hustle and I absolutely loved it. I loved, I now understand why everybody talks about you should pick up a side hustle to make extra money outside of your full-time job because baby girl, that extra money always looks nice. Extra money just is nice. Money. It's just as nice, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> so yeah, that was my experience at Amazon. I would do it and I wouldn't discourage women not to do it just because it's a physical job. Doesn't mean anything. You guys can do it. You always know, take account of your health and you know what you can do and what you cannot do. Um, was that stuff heavy? Yes, it was, but I could do it. I could always ask for help. Heck, I remember one time I knocked on somebody's door and was like, um, can you help me, you know, get this out the truck? And they were always happy to help. So you guys can do it. It's not a lot of female Amazon drivers out there, especially from what I've seen. Um, but it can be done. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Don't let nobody stop you from your bag, from your coin. Them coins belong to you. All you gotta do is claim them, do the work, and the coins will come to you, all right? I don't know if I could deliver, you know. I don't know if I could deliver like that for years. I don't know. Summer, yes. You know, when you're grinding, you're grinding. But I don't know if I could do that for forever. So I'm extremely grateful for my job that I have. Um, and it was just an overall ex great experience. So ladies and gents, if you ever come across an opportunity to be an Amazon driver, I say thumbs up, give it a try, and let me know how it goes. Deuces.